Okay, so you've reached the end of your paper, paper one, and you have the photoelectric effect question to wrap things up. It's a lovely little question, about 12 marks worth, and the good news is about four to six of those marks are all part of just doing some simple maths with the equation. So here's a wonderful little way of approaching um, the photoelectric effect equation. Um, there's going to be three parts to the equation. If you look on your formula sheet, it's like E equals W0 plus EK, or if you break it down a bit, we get what we've got here, HF equals W0 plus half MV squared. Now, each one of those things represents one of the aspects of the photoelectric effect. So we've got photons coming in, that's your HF. The W0 represents the metal, and the half MV squared, the photoelectrons that get booted out. Now, the analogy that I want us to use is one of movies and popcorn. A nice little inspiration for you thinking beyond your exams. And it's like a money versus energy analogy. So the HF represents your money, the amount of money that you'd take with you to your movie night. Now, let's just say for argument's sake, that was 50 rand. Budget evening, out we go. And what are you gonna do with that money when you get to the movies? Well, you've come to see a movie. So the first thing you're gonna do is buy a ticket. And that is what the work function is like. It's the amount of energy required by the metal in order to just let an electron out, okay? So you spend your money. First thing you're gonna do is buy a ticket. So let's just say you've got a nice deal, 20 Rand ticket, okay? Then you've got 30 Rand change, what are you gonna do? Well, it's gonna be popcorn, baby. All right, so you've got 30 Rand to go and buy yourself a nice big popcorn, all right? So that's an example of how the money thing works. Now let's just change the scenario up a little bit. What about if uh, you still had your 50 Rand, uh, but the movie ticket was a little bit more expensive than that. Let's say it was a 40 Rand ticket. Well, then you've only got 10 Rand change, so you can still watch the movie, but you're gonna have an itty bitty little popcorn instead of a nice big one. And what about if you still have your 50 Rand, but sadly the movie ticket was 60 Rand? Well, alas you're not gonna be able to go and watch the movie because you can't get in. So that's like uh, a photon coming in, but it doesn't, it's not above the threshold frequency. In other words, it doesn't have enough energy uh, to pay the work function and to get an electron out of it. Photoelectric effect is not going to happen. So that gives you a quick overview of the way that those, uh, little bit of, uh, the way those items fit together in the equation. Um, but it's all down to practice as usual. So I'll let you crack on with that. All the best, ciao, ciao.